Hey everyone, let's compare Mela Pear Peach Honey Bee and Nude Area. Here's the hand swatch with Mela Pear at the bottom, Peach Honey Bee, and the Nude Area. Overall, they have a very similar muteness. For Mela Pear, it does look more like a purple beige color. Peach Honey Bee is more of a peachy pink color, and Nude Area is a pink brown shade. They do have a similar muteness, however, quite different in their undertone. Similar to the hand swatch, Peach Honey Bee has more of a peachy pink undertone, and for Mela Pear, it's a light purple. Once they oxidize, nude area is slightly darker and it does look more like a brown shade. And again, peach honey bee is more of a peach pink color. There's no brown in it whatsoever. Okay, well, let's review Dear Apple, Sorbet Balm, Nougat Sand, and Kaya Fig. Here's the hand swatch. At the bottom is Nougat Sand, Kaya Fig, Dear Apple, and then Sorbet Balm. Sorbet Balm is probably the most different. It's a bright, hot pink color. Nougat Sand also is quite different. It's a brown shade. For Kaya Fig and Dear Apple, they do look quite similar to each other. I'd say Kaya Fig is slightly darker, and it does have purple in it. For Dear Apple, it's a little bit more rosy. So into the hand swatch, Nougat Sand is a brown shade. For Sorbet Balm, it's a bright pink color. It does have a little bit of coral orange undertone. Sorbet Balm is also brighter than Dear Apple. Similar to the hand swatch, Kaya Fig can go a few shades darker. The more they apply, the more purple undertone. You'll also see for Dear Apple, it doesn't have any purple undertones and it looks more like a rose pink shade. Hey everyone, let's compare Canyon, Mellow Pear, and Pumal Skin. So here's the hand swatch. We have Mellow Pear at the bottom, Pumal Skin, and then Canyon. Canyon probably looks the most different. It's slightly darker and it does look a little bit more rosy. Mellow Skin and Mellow Pear have a similar muteness. Her Mellow Skin is more of a milky caramel color. Mellow Pear is a sort of a light purple beige color. Alright, so on the lips, it might be a little bit difficult to tell because they have a very similar muteness. However, quite different in their base color. For Mellow Pear, again, similar to the hand swatch, it does have a light purple. It's going to be a very mute light purple. And for Pamela Skin, it's a caramel brown color. It doesn't have any purple undertones. Quite a big difference for Canyon and Pamela Skin. Canyon is a lot darker and the more they apply, it's going to look like a rosy brown color. Pamela Skin is a lot lighter and it doesn't have any rosy undertones. Here well, let's compare Almond Rose, Malt Peach, Bear Grape, and Peach Honey Bee. So here's the hand swatch at the bottom is Peach Honey Bee, Malt Peach, Bear Grape, and then Almond Rose. Overall, they all have some kind of pink in it. Bear Grape and Almond Rose are a little bit more similar in muteness. For Malt Peach and Peach Honey Bee, they do have a light shade. So once they oxidize, you'll see quite a difference as well. Peach Honey Bee is lighter, and it does look more like a peachy pink color. For Malt Peach, it's a little bit more mute. It's also a few shades darker, and it's a little bit more warm toned. For Beer Grape, it's also darker as well, and it does look more like a pink-purple shade. So I think the gradients look of Beer Grape will look more similar. For Almond Rose and Beer Grape, they have a similar muteness. However, Almond Rose can go a few shades darker, and it does look like a rosy brown color. Hey everyone, let's compare Rosy Nude and Fala Rose. There's a hand swatch, quite a big difference with Fala Rose at the bottom and Rosy Nude on top. Fala Rose is a rosy shade, and Rosy Nude is more of a mute-purple shade. Quite a big difference on the lips as well, similar to the hand swatch, Rosy Nude is more of a mute purple shade. For Fallout Rose, it's a lot more rosy.